Salute to all the real ones out there. It's your boy Mike coming at you again with another video. Y'all like the content that I've been dropping? I hope so, because I'm not doing this for no reason at all, you know what I mean? But you do, I need you to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with other people you think may benefit from them, all right? Now, I know that sounds cliche. I done said this in all my other videos, but seriously, man, like liking a video, I know I'm gonna be all up in your time, <laughs> coming all up in your little feed, you might not want to see my fucking face in your time <laughs> in your feed. I understand that, you know what I mean? But I, I always tell people to like, comment, subscribe because honestly, you know, I just want to give y'all some game about life. You know, I'm no genius or anything like that, but I've had many people throughout my life that have came and told me that uh, the knowledge that I gave them was, was useful or something that I said sparked up a... A desire within them to actually improve or work on a part of themselves or seek help or to overall just get better and it's crazy because I've said so many things over the years that it might have slipped my mind by now but when someone comes and reminds me like yo man back in the day you remember when you told me that man yo I changed my whole life and now I look where I'm at I'm like damn I didn't even realize that is sound that does sound like something I would say but I don't even remember telling you that so I'm glad I made these these uh, I make these YouTube uh, videos because at least this is a way where now in this digital age at any point for anybody who benefits from what I have to say they always have a catalog that they can refer to and even share that with other people so my channel is not where I want it to be right now you know it's in the beginning stages but I have confidence that one day it will grow you know and. Uh, you guys help me out big time just by watching the videos through to completion, you know, clicking like, throwing your little comments up. All that stuff is helpful, and I thank you for supporting me, right? Now, today's topic is going to be rudderless ships, all right? So if you guys know anything about boats and sailing and all of that, the rudder is basically, it's underneath the ship, and however it's uh, aimed will determine how your ship is steering right so when i say rudderless ships ships are people in this case all right and i mean like people just like ships without rudders are steered in whatever direction or influence that other people take them you know so it's kind of like a ship that's just floating on the ocean without a rudder wherever the waves uh send that ship is where the ship is going to head and the underlying theme is being like stand up for something or fall for anything you know i even said that in one of my my songs you know by the way uh you know i got some songs uploaded y'all can check them out you know what i'm saying it's called marvelous and bliss you know that's me and my homeboy from ohio you know we make a lot of music but i got a song called return of the t that i made back in uh 2013 where i kind of talked about that you know stand up for something or fall for anything to pop kennedy martin luther king you know and what i'm basically trying to get at is that uh many people today it's almost sad you know nobody has an opinion of their own everybody's just following along with whatever celebrity uh, or public figure told them. It's kind of sad, you know, because we're all individuals, man. And I feel like if you look at Earth from, let's say, an eagle eye view, it looks like we're just maybe a colony of ants. But if you go down to each individual person, I feel like it's important for said person to develop their own philosophy on how they want to live life now it's cool to take things that you've heard from great thinkers and imply that to your life i mean everybody has talent you know there's there some people who are um great philosophers there are other people who are mu musicians who are extremely talented in their craft you have other people who maybe you know play sports or even some just 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 writers, authors, poets, like everybody has their own gift. And I feel like by looking inward, cultivating that gift and just trying to be the best person you can be, you're already making the world a better place. You know? 
And nobody can live your life except for you. I can't tell you what to do. I mean, I can I can suggest, I can be a guide, I can drop some knowledge that will help you on your way. Just like when I look at another person, they maybe drop knowledge in their video that helps me along on my way. And now I'm like, man, you know, thanks a lot to that person. And it's like each one teach one. But at the end of the day, many people are like rudderless ships. They have no direction that they're headed in any person that's around them at that moment can influence them to go left or right and it's like dude you gotta you gotta get in tune with your own self and determine what the fuck do you want from life all right another thing with these rudderless ships you know i mean these people that can just be led in any direction is that life happens to to them rather than them creating a life for themselves all right so this is basically living according to uh, external expectations and norms so case in point you come from a family where everybody expects you to let's say become a certain thing all right so we'll make it simple there's a bakery your family owns a bakery they expect you to become a baker you have other dreams and aspirations but then you just become a baker based on based on your family's expectations. This is going to be kind of sad because you're going to look back in, in, in your life and you're going to regret all the things that you should have done. All those soul urges that you had. You know, I made that video talking about deeply embedded urges. Like if I would have did anything to crash up against those urges, trust me, I would feel so much depression because I literally went through the depression already just on one of the aspects, which was financial freedom. I was in Germany. I met my wife. Everything was good. We had a Mercedes outside. You know, I could I could do what I want. We always had food in the refrigerator. Like I wasn't hurting. I wasn't in need of anything. But I still was going through a strong depression. And the reason why was because I wasn't living my potential. I wasn't living my truth, which was, hey, you're at an age right now where you could be grinding to get financial freedom for the future. You know, didn't you want to have money in the stock market? Don't you want to one day be able to just wake up and see that you're living off of just the interest from your investments? How are you going to do that if you're living in Germany and you're not making the money that you always thought you should be making at this age? So... That was a deep urge that I had. And I had to go against the grain. I had to figure out a way. And here I am today, now working a job where it's literally laughable how much I was making before. You see, and that's not to like, beat my own chest and go, yeah, I'm the fucking man. No, I'm just trying to paint a picture for you guys, right? So don't be one of these people who are just getting their ass kicked by life. Instead, you should grab life by the horns like dodge and you know what i mean control that shit another thing that you see from rudderless ships and this kind of goes right along with the analogy i was saying before with the ship just just coasting through and wherever the waves take it that's where it's fucking going is that people drift and float along life in life with no aims meaning that they have no plans for self-discovery and they don't take heed to their drowned out inner voice. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is like what Steve Jobs said before he passed away. He had a powerful quote where he was basically talking about don't let other people's opinions or thoughts affect your drive to become something great. And he was basically saying, like, listen to that inner voice, which is your intuition, your higher self, actually. He said, follow, follow that voice because it somehow knows everything that you're supposed to do and become. It somehow knows everything that you truly want anyway in life. Now, most of us have a drowned out inner voice, meaning that we're so busy chasing external validation that we never truly go through that labyrinth of our own psyche you know this is the person when you ask them what would you do with a million dollars they don't have an answer they never even thought about it this is the person who you when you ask them what do you want out of life they say something like real general that honestly anybody else could say it. they don't they don't have like a specific thing that they want out of life it's just general or you ask them you know what do you what are your hobbies and then they say i don't know 
It's like, damn, you don't know your own hobbies? What do you love to do? What do you love about yourself? You know, describe yourself. They can't describe themselves. So this lets me know that they haven't done any self-discovery. That's not something that's important for them. So it's like you're just going to drift along in life. You don't have a direction that you're trying to go. So how 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 is that supposed to turn out for you? And and you know, like the caveat off of that point, as as I come into my next point, is basically the universe has nothing to manage. Meaning that the universe can't help to conspire to help anyone who hasn't specified what they actually want out of life. Like for example, let, let, let's do a split screen right here. Person A. Yo, what you want to do in your life? Oh, I don't know. Or they say that that cliche shit that I honestly, I want to slap people who say this right here. It's whatever. Like, it's whatever is not a statement that I hate. Because in some cases, it can be played off. Like, like I say it's whatever when I'm more describing the mindset of someone else. Like, because I can't speak on their behalf. So, you know, my wife asked me, you know, why would so someone do that? Da, 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 da. Or, you know, this is what happened with them. What do you think? I'd be like, I mean, it's whatever. Like, that, that's their, that's them. That's how they, that's how they roll. I mean, or, or someone disagrees, you know, Mike, what you think about this? And I explain my point and then they just totally disagree. I'm like, well, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, the facts are there. I mean, you, you can go to the website and read it yourself. I mean, you don't believe it. I mean, it's whatever. But when you ask me what I want, or what I expect out of life and I hit you with it's whatever that's person A so I'm thinking like okay you about to get some it's whatever results person B what you want out of life man I want to create my own business I want to own my own jewelry shop I want to own my own whatever boutique I want to get my, my CDL license that's something specific, you know what I mean? That that's a smart goal. That's that's specific, measurable. All right, it's achievable. It's something that's realistic. It's real, it, realistic being the R and a smart goal. And then T, timely. Oh, I want to get my CDL license within the next six months. That's a realistic goal, yo. We could track that. We could write that down. And the universe can now help you when you're over here looking online. And you know. Think about uh, trucking school. Da, 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 da. It's probably going to be one that's going to speak to your soul just based on the website. You're probably going to call. They're going to answer right away. Like you're going to get confirmations that the universe is working to help you succeed in attaining that goal. Right. But but what kind of goal is it's whatever or I don't know. Then that means that the universe can't do shit to help you out anyway. So you're just going to be stuck. I mean, most people think like that. All right, then you got another thing that rudderless ships do, like people that don't have an aim in life, is that they maintain a static personality. So my point on that is they are of the feeling that they should always be the same person to avoid being considered fake, which keeps them stagnant in terms of personal growth. Everybody's met this person. Everybody's met this person. This is the person who dress game stays the same. Attitude stays the same. Views on everything stays the same. Even their living situation <laughs> literally will remain the same. They have noticed that this is the person when you ask them, hey, you know, like you ever plan on moving? No, nah, why would I move? I'm good right here. This is the person that's just content. Like even if they're not getting the results they want out of life, it's it's all good. You know what I'm saying? This is the this is the nice guy that gets played back to back to fucking back with all the females that he talks to, but refuses to make any change in not only himself, but also his approach to said women. He'll just keep getting burned. And it's like, <laughs> I mean, OK, like I can lead the horse to the fucking water, but him taking a couple licks out of that water, out of that pail is up to him. Remain thirsty, motherfucker. They fail to seek professional help, meaning that they hold on to past trauma, hurt, and or negative emotions that could be let go in order to overcome and flourish those, let's say, issues. Now, this this kind of goes back to me saying that I was going to make a video about PTSD. I'm, I haven't got around to it yet, but yo, all of us, all of us 
have issues from our past, bro. Every last one of us. And if your ass is black, oh yeah, and you grew up in America too, nigga, you got issues for real. It, it might not even, it might not even be anything crazy. It didn't say, you know, you ain't gotta be one of these dudes. All oh, yeah, I was from the hood, you know what I mean? My homeboys got blasted, pour out a little liquor. Like it ain't gotta be all of that. I'm just saying, like dealing with racism on a daily basis, that's gonna fuck with your psyche alone. But what I'm saying is. Like, you should try to seek some type of help. I'm not saying that just because it sounds good. I'm even seeking help right now. You know what I'm saying? And just being able to get rid of some of those old emotions that have been trapped in my psyche for all that time has been just a beautiful feeling. Like, it feels like a weight is lifted off my shoulders, right? And that's only going to help me as I, as I uh, proceed forward in life. And my thing is to all you people out there who, for example, maybe you're not a rudder of this shit, but you know people who are, right? My mindset about that is to help who you can and everyone else should just be avoided like fucking quicksand because they have a quicksand mentality, crab in a barrel mentality. When they see you trying to rise up or trying to help them out, they ain't going to hit you with anything except negativity. Which is honestly like you running on a treadmill fast. I mean, you going real quick, my dude, but you're not getting no fucking where. So it kind of goes back to that that Will Smith uh, quote. Will Smith was one time on a program with Tavis Smiley where he was talking about one of his favorite books was The Alchemist. And he just basically said that he feels so powerful that all he has to do is decide on what he wants and he, he's going to get it. That's your job, too. You just have to decide. Don't be a rudderless shit, alright? Like, comment, subscribe, holla back.